zero plus zero. Zero. Then zero plus zero. Zero. Okay. For these children, going to school is a privilege. Their families make great sacrifices to ensure they get an education. So does their government. Africa spends more public resources on education than the global average. Still, the needs are greater than government budgets can possibly provide for. Building a strong economy and achieving good health outcomes can only be possible if a greater number of African children, like these ones, are educated beyond just literacy and numeracy. They need more than basic education. They need some level of tertiary education if they are to become the drivers of economic growth, if they are to become doctors, lawyers, teachers, and business owners. Primary education is just one segment. If Africa is going to experience economic growth, it needs to address the uh, education needs at the secondary and tertiary levels. And so at the, at the secondary level, we, we're focusing a lot more, not just in terms of the quantity of people who uh, transit from primary education to secondary education, and then the tertiary level. The tertiary level education is, of, is so important for the continent, because at the tertiary level, um, you're able to produce the kinds of talents and skills that would enable you uh, achieve some of the MDGs. Africa needs three million more teachers to meet the demand for education by its young population. There is also a critical need for post-secondary training. This includes educating doctors and nurses. These two groups of professionals are key to achieving the health targets for the Millennium Development Goals. The World Bank is working with governments to overcome hurdles they face in meeting the Millennium Development Goals of universal primary education. The bank also funds tertiary education, including skills development programs, which are key to empowering youth and are needed if Africa is to find jobs for the 7 to 10 million youngsters who join the continent's workforce each year. A mere 5% of the tertiary age group in Africa is enrolled in tertiary institutions, compared to a global average of 25%. Well, the, the medium-term education, uh, tertiary education program is basically a way of looking at the entirety of the systems and institutional issues. And so focusing on how you actually would uh, govern the sector so that um, you know, uh, institutions within the sector will be effective in delivering tertiary level education. So whether it's through uh, analytical work or through the investment in, in say, renewing the capacity of, of, of Africa's uh, ministries of education or the uh, universities' commissions to, to be able to develop the right kinds of curriculum, um, or to have the kind of faculty, or to have the kind of mechanisms for uh, supporting um, investment in research and development. These are all systemic issues. These investments are crucial because these youngsters deserve a prosperous future and the right to realize their dreams of becoming tomorrow's entrepreneurs, doctors, and community leaders.